Uh, before the new Congress got started, Democrats promised to push a pro-abortion agenda that set up a tug of war with a new Republican-controlled House, which has passed several pro-life measures. Now, Senate Democrats are introducing several pro-abortion bills and even asking the president for help. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reports. Eric? Well, I tell you what, Tracy, you know, the battle to protect the unborn is certainly heating up on Capitol Hill and we at EWTN News Nightly, we want to give our Catholic viewers the very latest information that's happening up here on the Hill. So Democrats have sponsored a bill safeguarding a women's access to the abortion pill. And this includes through telehealth and even certified pharmacies. And it's important to note that that includes mail order pharmacies. We are going to do everything we can to make sure that people have access to medication abortion, which is the way in which over 50 percent of Americans are now getting access to abortion care. And we're going to do everything that we can, and especially we are going to fight to stop the abortion bans. Prior to serving in Congress, Senator Tina Smith was Planned Parenthood's vice president in Minnesota. But Republicans are fighting back. Republican Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith, who heads up the Senate Pro-Life Caucus, tells me Republicans will investigate the FDA for loosening its rules requiring doctors to administer abortion pills. They are violating federal law in doing that. And, you know, every post office becomes an abortion clinic. The pharmacies can become an abortion clinic. It just amazes me that they would support something that could endanger so many lives. And it doesn't end there. A bipartisan group of senators, including Republicans Lisa Murkowski and Susan Collins, both self-professed Catholics, have introduced a bill that would prevent states from limiting access to abortion and protects access to contraception. And there's even more. Democrats recently wrote President Biden asking him to take executive steps that would increase resources for women to have abortions outside their home states, ensure veterans, families, and federal workers have access to abortion, permit illegal immigrants and even prison inmates access to taxpayer-funded abortions, and increase federal funding for domestic and global abortion services. It is important to note that the fate of these bills is still uncertain. Democrats need 60 votes in order to get them passed and moved on over to the House. Life, pro-life Republicans say that they were going to fight this to the very end. We'll continue to stay on top of the issue. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.